Hello, it's Bini here. Today on the 6th of June, 10.23am, let's take a look into STI. Uh, as expected, SPI has been in range, a tight range of about um, 100 points. Why do I say it's 100 points? Because we've seen this um, from the low, about 3,160 to the high of about 3,260. So that's a uh, 100 points um, consolidation for STI. Right, so short term, our STI is in a downtrend. Right, how do I know that? Because we have a high point here and then a lower high. And this is seen as she as a lower high and a lower low and a low here. So that's a temporary downtrend. Uh, but uh, STI is still still in a in a very strong support because in the um, longer term, all right, it is still an uptrend situation. So uh, as long as price don't close below three thousand one hundred and sixty, all right, we are still in an uptrend situation here. Now, what would be the levels that you need to take note of? Um, so this green line here is a green wick wash line. Okay, it means that in the weekly there was already a wash and means, and the price behavior here uh, shows that price is right now being resistant. So for the past five days, it has been mapping out in a dodgy lookalike pattern with no fixed direction. So it's you know with no clear direction um, and being at a resistance. Um, so price is still being resistant. Now today we have a slight, slight, slight bearishness. Okay, meaning that there was a like a close below a previous low, but the day hasn't closed yet. Okay, so um, we can't conclude that it is going to be that bearish. However, if there should be a close below three thousand two hundred and ten, I repeat three thousand two hundred ten for STI, then we should be expecting you know in the near term for price to move towards three thousand one hundred sixty. So do take note that uh, unless that price has broken below key levels, which is about three thousand one hundred sixty. I'm expecting actually STI to be still in a range bound situation. All right, so I'll continue my update um, tomorrow regarding STI. But so far, as of every week, we need to take a look at the week chart. So that's usually the the habit here. So week chart still same thing. The immediate momentum is down, um, and we've not seen uh, any upward um, momentum yet. So if US is going to be Week, I think the STI going forward for this week is likely going to be weak. Now, one thing to mention, um, last point is that uh, STI at this point here, so this was this point here, right? Um, had a closed above the two highs here. Okay. Now, this means that if STI cannot maintain above the two highs, okay, which is cannot have a closed above this high here, or I just give it a little bit of a buffer. All right, to be uh, above three thousand two hundred and twenty, right, which is right now showing a bit of a downward movement. Then STI would be having a bit of a bearishness. Okay, that means that the whole chunk that we saw here, a uh, price movement of three thousand two hundred and twenty to three thousand two hundred uh, four hundred and sixty. This whole chunk of a buy would end up in a wash and rinse. Okay, so what's wash and rinse? You can take my free course to understand what is wash and rinse, and that's represent a very very important uh, price uh, movement in the market. Okay, so um, I've I've left the link um, at the um, link below in the write up, so you can just have a look at you know the place to get the free course on wash and rinse. 